Al Jacobs here at the Haven Country Club. Spray that face. Get a couple tee shots. Where you hit it? On the club face. Hal Jacobs here at the Haven Country Club. Uh, it's November 6th. This could possibly be the last hole that I play uh, for the 2022 golf season. Thought I'd bring you along. Let's see how we do. I thought I'd talk a little bit about how uh, I think about things. Um, here we are on the fifth hole. There's a little bit of wind going from left to right. Uh, my target is gonna be there is a white uh, weather station just to the left of the of the bunker out there which is left center of the fairway so that's gonna be my target I take my practice swing behind the ball envisioning the flight of the ball and then I'm gonna pick a spot along that target line that I've created and I my pre-shot routine I step in with my right hand and make sure the club is aligned where I want it to go then I put my left foot in uh, make sure I, I have the ball position where I want it. I step my right foot in. I make sure my hips and my shoulders are where they should be. I look at the target one last time and I kill it. So pretty good. Uh, right side of the fairway, it may take a hop and hop into the rough if it hops to the right because the fairway's canted that way, but not too bad. Let's go see what happens next. All right, here's our, our my drive. Um, I played the blue tees on number five. I got 141 the flag stick. Uh, one thing do not forget to do is check your golf ball. Make sure I put little dots on mine so I see this is my golf ball. Uh, so I know I'm not gonna hit the wrong one. The pin is, uh, if you can see it on the screen, I'm not sure, but it's, it's on the left side of the bunker but you definitely have to go over the bunker if you were gonna go at the pin. Uh, so that's a dangerous hole location. I'm gonna aim left of the bunker um, so that uh, I'll play it a little safer, but 141 yards, it feels like the wind's a little bit left to right, maybe a little down. So I typically hit a nine iron about 145, but it's a slight bit uphill. I'm gonna grip down just a half inch on this nine iron. Just like my driver, um, I've got stood behind the ball. I got my target location, gripping down a half inch to try and not hit it quite as far as I normally hit a nine iron. Look at my target, and let's go. All right. Oh, short. Good, good direction. I hit it a little bit fat, uh, and ended up short in the bunker. Let's see what happens. All right, like I said, it landed uh, over here and, and short and kind of rolled back into the bunker. Uh, so it wasn't too far off my target line, but it was short. And um, But now we're in the bunker, so just gonna accept the shot that we hit. And I, I dig in a little bit in a bunker, uh, a, fair, a greenside bunker shot anyway. So I dig in with my left foot. Uh, kind of cam my right foot a little bit so that I don't fall back when I hit this bunker shot. And it's about a medium length bunker shot, so I have a 54 degree uh, wedge. Kind of go through a couple rehearsal lengths of a backswing. And um, yeah, gonna focus behind the ball and see what kind of shot we hit here. Not too bad. Uh, it almost went in, but then rolled by quite a bit. Happens when you hit it in the bunker. Let's go see if we can make that putt. All right, here we are, 12 feet. Uh, whenever I, I putt, uh, I've been doing it for a long time. I tend to pace off my putts. Uh, I practice specific distances putting green so I like to know exactly how far I am so I know that uh, this is 12 feet I watched it when I hit the bunker shot almost went in but then curved a little bit uh, this way 
uh, depending on how you're looking at it. But in my putting, my putting routine, I, I'm going to imagine this kind of line that the ball is going to go just outside the right edge and curve back in and go in. Um, you're left from the camera point of view. Uh, I draw that back and, and I find a spot 12 inches in front of the ball and I make a couple rehearsal strokes the length I want the putt to be, the putter to swing back and forth. And then I line my putter up to that spot. Now I totally forget about alignment because I've got it all set. I focus on the hole or the spot just to the right of the hole really where I want to go. I take my grip, one more look back and I go. Ah. So there you have it. Finishing the year with a bogey five. <laughs> but uh, in my efforts to do one takes, I will not replay this one and put up the good scores. There you have it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the season here at the Haven. I've got a couple of more tips coming, but they'll be mostly focused on stuff to do indoors to get ready for next year. And uh, if you have any requests, please send them my way. Always looking for uh, ways to answer questions from our members and um, anybody that's uh, enjoying getting better at the game of golf. So uh, thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Al Jacobs here at the Haven Country Club. Spray that face. Get a couple tee shots. Where you hit it, on the club face.